Luther King holiday will be observed officially tomorrow, but today Chicagoans are marking the civil rights icon's birthday by taking to the streets to call for an end to the violence plaguing this city. Today's march also comes amid a growing national controversy, a war of words between President-elect Donald Trump and civil rights leader and Congressman John Lewis. NBC5's Christian Farr is live in Chicago with reaction here tonight. Well, good evening, Dick. Hundreds have gathered here in Lincoln Park for an anti-violence march and rally, but they're also talking about a controversy between a civil rights leader and a future president. Inside the walls of Lincoln Park, St. Paul's United Church of Christ, hundreds gathered for an anti-violence rally and march on MLK weekend. And organizers also reflected on a debate between Congressman John Lewis and President-elect Donald Trump. Thing, I think the notion that John Lewis is all talk and no action is absurd on his face. Uh, they, the man's a hero, a civil rights hero who put his body on the line time and time again. The war of words between the longtime congressman and president-elect started when Lewis questioned the legitimacy of Trump's presidency, which the civil rights icon talked about this morning on Meet the Press. You do not consider him a legitimate president. Why is that? I think the Russians participated in helping this man get elected, mm -hmm. and they helped destroy the candidacy of Hillary Clinton. The president-elect fired back on Twitter and told the congressman that he should focus on the crime-infested cities of the U.S., and also accused Lewis of being all talk, 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 no action or results. Sad. It's shocking that Congressman Lewis, who is a civil rights icon and is a person who's championed voting rights, would actually question the legitimacy of an election in this country in starting this firestorm. At St. Sabina this morning, Father Michael Flager talked about Trump's tweet against the civil rights leader. And you call him a man of all talk and no action. Shame on you, Donald Trump. On Twitter, President-elect does have his defenders. One person said they disagree with John Lewis's comments and also said that Trump won outright. Live in Lincoln Park, Christian Farr, NBC5 News. Christian, thank you.